Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to show you this knife. Now, first off, this was handed out by Mid South Roof Systems, and this was probably given to customers or clients. And this is a CRKT M4 02S. Now, this is a knife that I've been hunting for for about two or three years, and I finally picked one up for $38. $8. Now, originally these were for sale for about $28 to $30. And for a knife that has genuine stag handles, that is a pretty darn good deal. Now this one I got cheap because it had this branding on it. I'm probably going to try and remove that. But this is the reason why I'm hunt I hunted for this. The handle scales are made out of stag and for me, I just find this knife to be incredibly appealing. There are a few other models of this knife, and there's one where this is G10 and white bone, and then one with steel, a uh, steel bolster, and then wood handle scales. And I have to say, Carson did a wonderful job designing this knife. Now, this knife was assisted. It had a spring that ran up the back here and then went into the handle here. And that made it a spring assisted knife. And I did not like the action on that. Um, it was not very comfortable, it was not very smooth. So I removed that. And then it also had this slide lock on the back here that actually locked the liner lock in place. So you could not close it. Essentially made this somewhat of a fixed blade knife but was not very reliable. So I disassembled this entire knife and I removed this when you do remove it, you have to add a little bit of material in there. So I added a steel washer and then a nylon washer to fill up the void there. And then I also removed the spring assist, which you can do by just loosening up that screw there with a T6 screw driver. And it will loosen that spring out and then you can pop it out. So now this is completely manual. The other thing I did is I replaced the left side washer with a stainless steel washer and then left the other one as a nylon. I find this combination to be both stable and smooth. I find the nylon gives it a little bit of a smooth feel and a kind of a lubricated feel while the steel washer gives it a little bit more stability. So you can actually tighten this up just a little bit more than you could reg regular tighten up if you had like a steel steel washer or a bronze bronze washer. So it gets tightened up very nicely. There's no no play anywhere in this knife while at the same time offering you a nice, nice smooth opening. Now this knife here is not very big. Really quick while I grab another knife here for a size comparison. Let's compare it to a Chris Reeve large Sabenza. And you can see there it's it's not big, but it's not small either. It's a very usable knife and I find it to be a pleasure to carry. Now the only thing I hate though is the pocket pocket clip placement. Now I mean this is a older design. This is probably from the mid 2000s. And to be honest, yeah, tip down was really the way to go back in the day. But right now, I think tip up is the way to go. But it would have been very hard to manage a tip up if you had the clip over here and then have screws and everything. It would have been a mess dealing with a material like stag antler that can be either out this way or in this way. So having it over here makes a little more sense. But what does not make a lot of sense is having this huge huge thumb stud and when you put this in your pocket it catches on your pocket now one of the things i found uh, when it was spring assisted is that if you pulled it out right and then you were pulling it back this way you had a likelihood of starting the assist on this and it would actually come open like that now can you finger flick it yeah you can but i mean yeah it's not really the best option for that but i find a nice slow roll to be a pleasure and then a nice thumb flick 
a real nice pleasure. You also have some nice jimping on the back here that is raised. It is a little bit higher than the bolster and the jimping there is very, very comfortable, very, very effective. And you have the same kind of jimping on the liner, which is actually sunk past the bolster. So is this a good knife? I find it to be a good one. I mean, I, I've been hunting for it for a long time and primarily the stag model, but if you're paying $80 for one of these, don't do it. I mean, people are asking a lot more money for the stag one just because they're harder to find. And for me, I bought this one just because it has the, um, branding on here, it was just a little bit cheaper. But for me, I wanted it because of the stag. It kind of reminds me of a old school knife while being new school. So I thought you guys would enjoy this video. Till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.